One of the great pleasures of being uh, the first in the nation is that you attract candidates. Um, now normally the New Hampshire primary has many, many candidates who register for it. Sometimes as many as 60 for each party. Uh, and of course most of those candidates would be people you've never heard of and we've had our share of those come to visit and they, some of them are very sincere and, are, and think that there is a chance that, that uh, their particular um, political perspective will be something that people will catch on to and, and, um, and raise their, their level of visibility to the rest of the world. Um, and others are just doing it to make a point and, and uh, um, they've got something they want to, to say and they, they think this is a good platform to say so. But then of course then there are all sorts of, of people that you'd recognize who've been here including um, Bill Clinton when he was governor of Arkansas but, but uh, had um, the presidency in mind. Uh, uh, George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, Bush 41, and George W. was here as well, and Bob Dole uh, when, when he was the, uh, the head of the Senate, Alexander Haig, former Secretary of State and a general, um, uh, Douglas Wilder ran, the, the first major black candidate to run. Uh, so we have seen our share of, of um, uh, very well-known national candidates come to to Dixville Notch. One of the most memorable is uh, John McCain, who we see up here. Jo uh, John McCain's actually been here uh, twice, uh, and um, the first time he was here, he asked to spend uh, some alone time in the ballot room, and he, he spent over an hour in here reading all of the captions on the, uh, of the pictures on the wall, and um, um, he kind of cherished the fact that he was in the place where the first vote would be cast. Uh, he then came back later that year uh, to, um, to meet Mr. Tillotson, who um, uh, was 101 year old, years old at the time. And um, uh, we went over to Mr. Tillotson's home and sat in his backyard and, and had a conversation. And um, uh, Mr. Tillotson uh, was happy to, to meet the senator, and the senator was certainly very happy to meet Mr. Tillotson, the first person to actually cast a ballot uh, in the last 40 elections. And uh, they had a wonderful conversation, uh, which went something like this. Um, Mr. Tillotson said uh, to the senator, so tell me about yourself. And the senator said, uh, well, Mr. Tillotson, I'm a, a graduate of a, Annapolis, a fighter pilot. I, I'm the, the grandson of an admiral, the son of an admiral. I, um, I fought in the Vietnam War and I was shot down over Hanoi and um, I was in a, a prisoner of war uh, camp there for five and a half years and, and then when I got out I took me quite a while to recover but th eventually I, I ran for Congress out of Arizona and, and uh, uh, served in Congress and, and now have been a senator for um, several years. And uh, Mr. Tillotson said to him, so you've never had a job? And the senator was taken back a bit and, and he said, well he, he was chairman of the Commerce Committee in the Senate and, and, and he was really a supporter of, of small business and, and industry across the country. Um, Mr. Tillotson said to him, had, had he ever been to Douglas, Arizona? And the senator said, oh, many times. And, and he said, have you been there, Mr. Tillotson? He said, well, yes, but just once, a, a long time ago. He said, well, when were you there? And he said, well, I had um, I joined up, uh, signed up for the Army and they put me in the cavalry and so I was with Pershing and we were chasing Pancho Villa on the border of Mexico and Texas for a couple years and then when it came time to muster out of the service, I, nine other fellows and I rode from Douglas, uh, from Laredo, Texas to Douglas, Arizona across the desert so that we could uh, get out of the service. And that was just a, a mind-boggling event for uh, the senator to hear that it, here was a, a person who'd, who'd actually um, uh, chased Pancho Villa. Um, the, when the conversation went on, the, the senator finally asked uh, Mr. Tillotson uh, who his favorite candidate had been. Um, he said that he had um, been the, the first person in the nation to vote for all these years. He'd met all of these wonderful um, candidates who'd, who aspired to be president. Was there any one of them uh, that he'd met in his life that stood out amongst all others? And, and um, Mr. Tillotson said, yes, there was. And, and um, knowing that Mr. Tillotson was pretty, pretty much a, a dyed-in-the-wool Republican, McCain said to him, 
uh, was it Reagan? He said, oh, no, not Reagan. He said, it was Roosevelt. And he said, Roosevelt was your favorite candidate. He said, who wouldn't love Teddy Roosevelt? He had met Teddy Roosevelt in, in 1912 when he was 14 years old and Roosevelt was running uh, for the Bull Moose Party to be re-elected president. He, of course, didn't make it, but it didn't deter Mr. Tillotson from being an avid supporter then and, and still. Um, so it was a wonderful session that day with, um, with John McCain and, and Neil Tillotson.